Okay, I'm gonna try to make some progress today on uh, some of the holes in the bottom of the boat. Transducer that I pulled out from down here, where I made this patch, I'm going to reuse it. And it's going to be my backup depth transducer. So I'm gonna put it in this other panel here. I have this old knot meter, little paddle wheel sensor, which is missing the paddle wheel and obviously is uh, no longer even hooked up. This is, I believe, the original that came with the boat in 1984. So we're gonna pull that out, try to take this nut off, try to take the entire thing out, and we're gonna reuse the hole for the depth transducer. Uh, what I'm going to do is take this pin out. So take off the little tainting ring here. Pin slides out fairly easily over here. Um, and you'd think I should be able to just pull this out. And I think under ideal situation, I probably could, but that's been sitting in there a long time and it's probably sealed in by bottom paint. So I'm gonna go to the bottom of the boat, and just tap that little sucker up. If I were trying to save the knot meter, I probably wouldn't try to remove it like this. But I'm not. I'm not even sure if this will come up. It looked from the top like it should have the center section. Yep. I can see it moved without hitting it too hard. There it goes. Oops, don't want to hit that. It's really hard to hammer upside down. All right, uh, I guess she's up there. Yep, she came right up. <clears throat> a lot of barnacles in there. And no little spinny wheel. Anyway, let's not get into a discussion just yet about how dare you remove your knot meter. Don't you want to know your boat speed relative to the water? Yes, 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 of course I do. But this isn't going to tell me that. This is junk. So, removing it someday. I will invest in a new knot meter and I will install that. Today's not that day. And for the moment, I'm gonna remove the through hole as well. Now I need to get this nut off, which I'm sure is well seized on there. And then I'll need to knock this thing out completely. So I'm sure this is not gonna work, but might as well just give it a try. Yeah, it's uneven wrap, it's too big. Next I could try this little pipe wrench. That's not gonna work. Okay, I had to stop screwing around. Got some new blades. Should be completely through that nut. I didn't think the nut would break free. But it don't wanna. That looks like it should be a separate piece of metal, and yet, they just hang it on there. Why the hell wouldn't that piece of nut fall off? Look at that, look at that. Am I looking at something other than what I think I'm looking at? <laughs> Is this big old washer thing part of the nut? Shit, man. I thought that was a separate washer. <clears throat> nope. Right here, look. That's one piece, the nut and the washer threaded onto the shaft. I really thought that washer was separate. If that's what you want, that's what you get. Down. 
that was an ugly removal. This stuff is still pretty pliable, so I'm thinking it's not 5200, it's probably 4200 or something like that. Anyway, I'm gonna scrape all this off, clean it up on both sides, and we'll be ready to put the uh, depth transducer in here. Because this is kind of bumpy, I'm going to use this just to grind it down and just kind of smooth it out, flatten it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be a little better than it is. Anyway, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanted to get some of the high spots off. Now let's clean up this paint and I'll clean up the outside and we'll be ready. Got this kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a scotch bright pad kind of thing. Elongated it a little. Yeah, got a nice smooth surface all the way around. Cut off this much on this edge, taper down to nothing on this edge. Round two. <laughs> you know what? Don't trust that. I want the transducer to sit flat on the bottom of the boat and not hang down at all uh, and because the thickness of the hull where I'm mounting the transducer is actually a little bit tapered it's a little thicker on one side versus the other side of the hull uh, so I took this spacer that goes with the transducer and I just shaved it down right so it ends up as acting as a bit of a wedge and this way when i put it in there put the thick part of this on the thinner part of the hull uh i screw the nut down it'll apply force uh evenly so that's why i did that and uh, you'll see how this all goes together when i put it back in the boat first thing i'm going to do down here is just give everything a good cleaning with acetone. So here where I cleaned up, sanded the hole and where the uh, adhesive is going to stick, clean that up. And then the transducer itself inside the uh, mushroom cap, if you will, that's where the adhesive is going to end up. So I'm just cleaning that off real quick. All in here. All right. I'll just let that sit there for a moment. Now what I'm using is 3M 5200. This is Marine Adhesive Sealant, the fast cure variety in white. A lot of folks like to use 4200. It remains a little bit more pliable, but I think for below the waterline, 5200 is the ticket. You can remove it if you need to, ultimately, even though people say it's it's on for life. It doesn't have to be. The reason I like 5200 over 4200 is because 5200 actually kind of bonds with the fiberglass. So below the waterline, I think that's uh, an ideal characteristic that you want. Even though it's gonna make it harder to take this out in the future, it won't make it impossible. And honestly, next time I take this out, it'll probably be to throw it away. So I'm gonna use this. Build up a nice bead all around this whole thing. I almost wish I bought the type that fits in a caulking gun. Don't worry about getting it on the body of the transducer. You ultimately want to put it on there too.
I'll take one step to avoid getting dirt in here. And I'm just trying to get it all on the flange of this transducer that's gonna meet up against the hull. And don't you worry, it'll smooth out nice when I actually install it because you kind of twist the transducer to make sure that you squeeze out all the air bubbles and bed it down nice and tight. That stuff is fast cure, which doesn't mean in the next five minutes this stuff's gonna cure. It's about 24 hours for a total cure. We've got plenty of working time here. Take your time and get plenty of goo on there. But anyway, you wanna put enough on so that spacer and the washer and everything is continuously sealed, including the threads, believe it or not, so that water cannot seep in through the threads of the lockdown net, which tells me with 5200, you're pretty much guaranteeing you're gonna probably cut this thing out. They do make a solvent that eats 5200, but again, this is a, an older transducer from about 2006 to 2009 timeframe, so time it comes out. It's on here in the threads as well. face that actually does the sonar. I'll come by in a little bit, clean that up. Okay, I neglected to clean this with acetone before I jammed that up in there. I'll notice that it just fell out too. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Luckily, it fell straight down. I don't think acetone necessarily eats 5200. Looks like it does a fine job as it's dry. But anyway, clean up all that fiberglass dust. Try not to get 5200 on your hand because it sucks. <laughs> what I'm going to do is also put additional material around here. Try not to get too much of it on this wire. I want there to be a lot of sealant available to, drum roll please, seal the hole. That's sealant ought to do. While I'm at it, I'm going to start to apply it here because as I said, I don't plan on removing this transducer and uh, the day I do is the day it's removed permanently. So if I have to remove a little bit of extra sealant then, that's fine by me. Okay, let's pull this up. I'm going to get sealant all over everything. I don't care. I don't get too much on me. Then we'll find it. turn it to spread it around on the flange there. Maybe wipe some of the excess off the body of the transducer because we don't want to look like we're total slobs, do we? Only really slightly slobby. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to turn this completely around. I don't want that slipping down. Oh, we got a mess on our hands here. Literally. I'm hold that up with the wire for a moment. Sealant around here. Okay. This one's gonna... First down is this rubber washer. And make sure 5200 is coating everything again. And I actually want to put a little bit down here. Okay. It's a little thin in the gap. I want it thin. Okay. Rubber washer. And then we'll bug it down. Try not to get 5200 all over your fingers. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. I'm even crazy enough to say I'm gonna put a little bit of sealant on the face of that rubber washer. Why? Because I'm not taking this thing out without cutting it out in the future. I want all the pieces and parts sealed together. Up. Is this wedge you created? All right. Pull that up. You guessed it. More 
And then the nut, I'll leave whatever 5200 is in the way there, but I'm not going to necessarily put that on. Any more 5200, there'll be plenty that gets into the threads here. I'm going to get it all over my fingers. Because uh, I'm a messy boy. I'm going to use this, and I'll put the other nut on top as a backup. Why the hell not? Usually a little bit more down in here. Oh, I must seem like quite the crazy guy. I feel like it. I'm not really holding it by the wire. I'm not really pulling on it. At best, I'm holding it slightly up. That's what I'm starting to look almost good. All right, now I don't know if this one's gonna clear this. Don't really look like it will. Let's thread it down inside. I have a feeling it's just gonna hit. I might have to trim it. It doesn't hit. Okay. Both nuts are turning together. Well, that was a huge mess. Anyway, I guess that is that. Well, that could have gone better. There it is. Installed. Mm, I don't think that thing's going to ever leak. And here, I keep it off the face of this transducer. All that excess I just squeezed out right around the perimeter here. You want to add a few nice coats of anti-fouling bottom paint over the entire transducer face. 